before we started our full-time RVing journey we wanted to make sure we were as safe as we could be in this video I'm going to show you which GPS system we chose to invest our hard-earned money in to assure that we were taking safe routes whether you're a full-time RVer part-time RVer sometime RVer maybe you're a one and done for every year you still want to feel safe when you're towing your rig your investment down the road you want to make sure you get proper clearances all the years that we've been RVing we've never had an RV specific GPS we've always just used um, our phones but we always were going places we were familiar with so we weren't concerned about clearances we knew that there was plenty of clearance for our campers we searched high and low we would be in a lot of different campgrounds and a lot of different areas that we weren't familiar with so in comes the RV 890 GPS by Garmin these aren't cheap they're about 500 bucks unless you catch them on sale which we did so we saved hundred dollars so it was like four hundred dollars bought it hooked it up took off for a month we went to Florida this thing took us down roads we had no business going down it took us down closed roads that did not have the clearance on the way back from Florida this GPS took us way out of the way like 40 minutes out of the way wanted us to turn right off the road right off the shoulder into this almost looks like a ditch dirt gravelish type road that was going into a farmer's field um, I have no idea we pulled over in a big parking lot and we have the RV Life Pro on our phone so we punched it in there and that took us back backtracked us and brought us back out which would have been a much shorter route to begin with I don't know why the Garmin RV Pro the RV what 890 wouldn't bring us in there I mean come on Garmin this is pathetic and we spend a lot of money on these GPS's that are specific for RVers to be safe and, and this thing has taken us down many wrong turns so we got back from Florida and I called the people I ordered this from which they're very nice they're they're the middleman and they just said you know we can't do anything unless Garmin says so so Garmin's not going to take it back because we've had it for a month at that time I've been using it and they blamed it on me said operator error you know did you update it I said no I did not update it they said okay you have to update it so we hook it all up to the computer do all the updates took forever plugged it back in bam right off the bat it wants to take us from our home up a route that we know there's not clearance there's a 12 foot clearance we're 13 6 there's one 13 6 clearance and then there's a 12 4 we know that route we go we've been up that way a million times so just to make sure we drove out that way and I thought let's check it out we drove up there sure enough 12 4 why would it take us up there and there's no turnaround you're on the side of a mountain you'd be you would ruin so many people's day it could all it might would be disastrous so now I have PTSD every time I plug in a GPS of where is it going to take me so after all the research I wasted my money on the Garmin RV 890 and I don't want you to do the same thing if you have one of these and you're having good luck with it that's fantastic I'm glad you are having luck with it we we aren't it's taking us on more wrong roads dangerous roads than it has good I will say the positive thing about this is this is a nice big screen you can see real well and I will use it for when we're traveling you can pull up campgrounds it'll show you all the campgrounds and so many miles radius as you're traveling so it is good for that other than that I don't see much use for it in our travels you would think that Garmin as big a company as they are and all the devices they sell that they would be a do good company and be and take this unit back even if it wasn't for a full refund you know they should take it back and give us something back for it I'm sure there's no fail safe GPS probably maybe I'm looking for a unicorn but I'm gonna keep looking right now I'm using RV Life Pro and uh, just the trip wizard 
I'm trying to learn that. That's a little difficult to learn, but I'm getting the hang of it. That seems to be doing okay so far. It's had a few little hiccups, but not as bad as the Garmin 890. This GPS wanted us to take an exit from this campground eight miles before the campground. There's an exit that dumps right out to this campground and it wanted us to take this exit eight miles down the road, which I bypassed, and then of course it reset. But where, where was it taking us? Why would it take us down that way and bring us basically, I guess, through country roads to get here? So it's just things like that that need to be fixed with this. So Megan, what do you think about the Garmin RV890 GPS? Um, the word frustrating comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> and Keeping scary. <laughs> because it wanted to take us down some crazy roads. And it took us down some crazy roads. Yep. But um, what was that one in Florida that said, like, it's not even a road. Like, it turns into a... <laughs> It just turns like in, a, it just hits a fence. Yeah, so... It might have yeah. been a road years ago. I was not impressed. It's really a shame that a large GPS company such as Garmin cannot put out a better product. I know this video sounds harsh on them, but it really has put us in some scary situations. You know, you spend a lot of money on a product that you trust to do what it's designed to do and advertised to do, and when it falls short, it's a little upsetting, especially in this case, when you're traveling with big rig and everything you own, and you take one turn and realize, you know, you're El Scrudo, you know, you're El Scrudo, you know, you're El Scrudo. So the RV890 GPS from Garmin, big old thumbs down. So I hope this video helps you decide on your RV GPS journey. We're searching for something a little bit better. I don't know if it's out there. Maybe a trucker GPS. But I hope you found this video helpful. And until the next video, we hope you're trading the everyday for a better day.